Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and to the ranking member of the subcommittee and the ranking member of the full committee. Uh, thank you to Director Clements for taking the time to discuss uh, this important report and the GAO's nonpartisan work, which is crucial to uh, our ability to know what occurred during the rapid collapse of Silicon Valley and Signature Banks and now others that have followed. And while this may be only a preliminary report, the insights provided point to a serious, uh, serious deficiencies with both supervisory practices as well as management's reaction to glaring issues. Actually, it would be more fitting to describe it as management's inaction to the warning signs that were flashing when it came to even the most rudimentary risk management. Uh, and I really want to point out that reality right now in this moment, dealing with the default on America that my colleagues on the other side are failing to acknowledge and their role in basic rudimentary risk management against an economic collapse that none of us can even imagine. According to the White House, in the event of a default because of our colleagues on the other side's unwillingness to raise the debt limit, quote, a crisis characterized by spiking interest rates and plunging equity prices, including home equity, would be ignited. Short-term funding markets, which are vital for the liquidity backing long-term mortgages, would likely shut down completely. There would be a rapid and complete tightening of credit at regional and community banks who would no longer be able to accurately price their treasury bills or use them as high quality collateral. Since these banks do not do the bulk of mortgage lending, the mortgage rates would go through the roof. That is the management decision of the House of Representatives in this moment. We are standing here as the Board of Directors for the People of America whose mortgages, whose car loans, whose financing ability is being jeopardized because of Kevin McCarthy and the default on America proposal that is holding America ransom in paying its bills. Excuse me, I have the, I have the order. There, there's parliamentary inquiry, that's, which is appropriate. Uh, the, the chair, that, has, that has nothing to do with this there was committee. A, uh, just a moment. The, the chair did not hear a reference I to another member. I reclaim my time. Just I reclaim a moment. my time. Just a moment. The, there was not a reference to another member. It was not that. He was talking about a, a the speaker. So the, the chair does by not name. see the problem. By name, correct. So we, it's noted, and the gentleman may continue. Clearly, I've hit a nerve because this is about the American people. Their finances, which are being held hostage because of a ransom note that is being offered by Kevin McCarthy and the default on America proposal that they've made rather than our obligation to raise the debt limit and to pay the bills that have already been occur uh, incurred by the pr prior administration and prior Congresses. So I think that while we do our jobs in examining Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank and First Republic Bank, we should actually do our job as Congress and avoid this major catastrophe that is weeks away and we know it. We have a responsibility to manage risk as Congress and we're failing to do our jobs. No, make me, let me make it clear. Republicans are failing to do their job. So I'm asking that we use the time of our committees to focus on the crisis that's right in front of us. And if my constituents, small businesses, people who have mortgages, families who are worried about meeting their obligations are going to be impacted by higher interest rates because of Congress's inability to do its job, then we should be discussing that at this time. 
Now, Mr. Director, you primarily focus on the failure of regulators to, act, to adequately escalate their supervisory concerns. And we certainly have some work to do bolstering supervisory escalation. However, I found the sections in the report focused on management's unwillingness to address repeated shortcomings just as alarming. For example, if Silicon Valley Bank's board, which I would say is the Congress right now, is unwilling or unable to, as you say, quote, provide effective oversight of implementation of the risk management framework, unquote, then what is the use of the framework in the first place? You go on to say that the behavior of these executives and board members was irresponsible at best as they let multiple supervisory letters fall on deaf ears, as we're hearing from economists tell us today. Specifically for Silicon Valley, I'm particularly, you, the other side went for more than a minute the last time. I'm just the, using the chair is very aware of, of the time. timing. I'm giving you a, a a tap of wrapping it up. If the Federal Reserve is correct in their report statement that Silicon Valley's bank's management was focused on the short run impact of profits, in this report it is mentioned that Silicon Valley Bank did take steps to revise its incentive compensation Your programs, but evidently the gentleman they failed will to do so. If we're going to play that game, we'll play that game. So uh, the gentlelady from the only game uh, being eight, played is by the, the other is side failing order. to do its job. The gentleman is out of order. I don't mind being out of order. The gentleman will people. suspend. 